Welcome back to another Kim's Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing another video. Today's video is going to be what's inside of my tackle box part 2, hard baits and scents. So if y'all haven't checked out part 1, it's where I showed y'all all my soft plastics. And if y'all want to check out that video, it'll be in the description below. But yes, go ahead and get started with this video. But before I get started with this video, I want to tell y'all that this is about the ninth, 10th time I've recorded this video. So if I mess up, Please don't spread the hate in the comments, but yeah. And another thing, I'm going to be adding some um, clips and pictures of fish in at the end of this video that I've caught over the last few days and just haven't did a video on it. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video so y'all can see those. But yes, go ahead and get into my tackle. Okay, the first thing we're going to be starting with is this little... Some baits, some hard baits I got in this little container here that haven't been used or I've opened them and hadn't used them yet. And uh, the first thing I got in here are some Eakins jigs. Uh, they're by Jewel Company. Um, I believe both of them is 5 16 ounce. Yeah, 5 16 ounce jigs. That color right there is peanut butter jelly. That's Missouri Crawl. I bought these at Walmart because they was on clearance for $2. I'm really not a big jig f fisherman, but for $2, I'll pick those up. And they come in two, so yeah. Really nice jigs right there. I believe I have used those once before, and I believe I caught a couple bass off of them. I might have used them in a video, so yeah. Next, I got this Storm Wiggly... Wiggly Wart, I think that's how you say that, but uh, I won this in a giveaway from Grab Life by the Fish, and the color is orange, orange, no, red crawl, I thought for some, um, for some reason I thought this color was orange belly crawl, I don't know, sometimes I know my color, sometimes I don't, but yeah, I won this in a giveaway from Grab Life by the Fish, along with that bass hose decal up there, when I get me a truck, I'm gonna put that on the back, haven't used this yet. It's a little deep for my area, but if I ever go to a big lake like Sharon Harris or Jordan, definitely use that. But the next thing I got in here is a rattle trap, a uh, supernatural, and I mean that looks just like a brim. I would highly recommend getting one of these. They're really great for bow fin. If y'all can see those scratches right there on the sides of it, it's where from where I caught bow fin. And actually, I put in a picture of a bow fin I caught right now. On the screen, I caught it using this um, rattle trap, and I'll put it on the screen right now. But yeah, that's all. Just no, there's one thing left in here. Um, this Rapala original floating jointed minnow. But yeah, then I just got some random stuff in there. I found that floating in the pond. Don't even have no hooks on it. And then I've got this um, Strike King spinner bait with painted blades, but the skirt's gone off of it. So yeah push those to the side so let's get to our next box here and i'm not going in any order i'm just grabbing a box and going through it trying not to make this video that long but yeah i think this is a excalibur crawbait uh, um crawfish crankbait a, a crawfish squirbill if i'm not mistaken and this looks like a natural crawl or i don't really know my crawl colors um, I don't know what crawl color that is, but I know it's a crawl pattern. It's a square bill. I think it's made by Excalibur. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but yeah, move on to the next bait. Next thing I got here is this Rapala DT6. Um, I don't know the color, but that's the color of it right there. Really don't use it too often, um, but it's really good and really like uh, in water from like seven to eight feet deep it's really good so i'd recommend getting one of those then i got this next crawfish crankbait don't know what the name of it is or what the color is my grandpa gave it to me then i just got some random rattle traps in there i know that there's a cotton core deal don't know which one no don't know what kind that is don't know what kind it is i got a um rapala x wrap in clown that's the color really good for bass and smallmouth and um i got a rapala shadow wrap and perch got some red eye shad and gold gold sexy shad and bleeding gizzard shad um got some more crankbaits i believe that's a bomber crankbait in clear shad or translucent shad whatever you want to call it don't know what kind of crankbait it, crankbait that is but i believe the color on that one is orange belly crawl or it's some kind of crawfish imitation then I think this is a, um, don't know what kind of jerkbait this is. Well, I do know, but I've forgotten. Uh, 
forgot where I got it too. Well, actually, I remember where I got it from, but I can't exactly tell y'all because I might be doing a video on it very, very soon. Still don't know, but yeah. Um, and the color on that's like chartreuse belly purple top. Really don't know the color. And oh, uh, that's a Smith Week suspending rogue, I believe. In uh, what was the color of that? I've forgotten the color of it. Most of the stuff I I've memorized the color. Some of the stuff I haven't memorized the color. So, yeah. I'm really good at remembering colors, though. So, yeah. And I'll go ahead and show y'all this why it's back here. I only got one scent, and that's the Baitmate Fish Attractant Live Catfish. And I haven't used it yet. I just got it from Walmart because it was on clearance for like a dollar and fifty cent. Couldn't help myself. But I'm looking forward to doing some catfishing. So, yeah. I'm going to get some bass and crappy scent of this right here. See if it works. You never know. Comment down. In the comments below, I know someone told me to get some garlic, um, garlic scented, um, what was the name of it? It's something that you use to dye baits. God, I forgot the name of it, but, um, what was the name of it? If I remember it, I put it right in the video right now of what it was, but let's go ahead and get into this. I got some water gremlin slip shots, weights for, um, panfish fishing. Um, I got a rig right here. I forgot the name of this rig. I'm forgetting everything in this video. See, this is what I mean by messing up. I don't, I forgot the name of this. It's called a, um, a Alabama rig. There we go. A Alabama rig. And, uh, I got one of the little things that goes on an Alabama rig. I think that's a storm swim bait. Those are really good for, um, both in two, those little baits right there. And I got two packs of Berkeley Fusion hooks here. Got those at Walmart on clearance for a dollar. Yes, you heard me right. One dollar. So they only had two packs left. If they'd have had ten packs, I'd have bought every single pack. Because there are some really good hooks right there. Really sharp. Really sturdy. Extremely recommend those hooks. Those and um, Gamagatsu hooks are the only hooks I use. So yeah. Got some Eagle Claw hooks there, some random Mustad hooks, more Eagle Claw weedless hooks, Gamagatsu Shiner hooks, Cricket, um, Eagle Claw Cricket hooks. Got some more Eagle Claw hooks here and little weights in there too. I don't know if y'all can see them. Some Berkeley Fusion hooks, some Gamagatsu hooks. See these right here, I paid, as y'all can see on the package, $1.99 for them. And this is like a, how many was in here? Don't know how many was in here, but there, there, as y'all can see, there's a bunch of them in there now. Then I got some KVD Mustad hooks in 5 alt for uh, really big flukes and really big lizards. Then I got a random little Cotton Cordell rattle trap in there, I believe I found. So, let me put all my hooks back in place in here. I like to keep my fishing stuff organized. That way, when I go fishing, I know where everything is. Then I got some um, Rapala Original Float Minnows um, in uh, orange back. Oh, no, orange. Blue back, silver side body. Well, blue back, silver on the sides. Well, they used to be silver. They're really dirty now. I believe I found those hung in trees. Always, I always pick up lures I find hung in trees. It's kind of a hobby of mine. I like to collect lures that I find and collect lures in general. I spend a lot of money in fishing, but who doesn't? If you go fishing, you spend a lot of money. Uh, got some hooks and worms out here. I found hung up. I found. These two black worms hung up. This uh yum Christy critter and that um yum ribbon tail and red shad and the hooks that went in them. I just leave them in there. But I got some corks. I got some hooks and a G head. Got some bass hooks. Got some hooks and swivels. Then I got some random uh jig heads. Some more hooks. Um bullet weights. Some weighted hooks. Red hooks. Some more weights spot removers and some random jig heads i forgot the name of most of the stuff i forget the name of it but when it comes to soft plastics i know all my colors and all my names for some reason which i fish with soft plastics more than i do hard baits because like soft pa soft plastics um work really well i don't know it's just i like to fish with them more than i do any other any other bait Okay, I got a Whopper Plopper right there. I believe that's the 130 size. Got some Rebel uh, Original Float Minnows uh, with the break with the break in the body. That color right there is silver, silver blue minnow, I think. And don't know the color of that one. I bought it from a yard sale for like a dollar. 
I got a head and tiny torpedo, I think, and baby bass. Got some more Rappler original float minnows, gold, yeah, gold black back, and then I got whatever that color is right there. You can see I got it a long time ago. It says new on it, and these things came out in like, I don't even know when they came out. Just know it was a long time ago. I got a Smithwick. Um, Devil's Horse, really, really nice thing, uh, bait right there. Highly recommend getting one of those. Late in the evening times, I've had bass come out the water. I actually had a bass in the swamp. He jumped out the water and landed inside of the boat trying to catch this lure, so that was just really amazing. It blew my mind, but yeah, I think the color is orange body, or, um, black body, orange belly. I forgot the name of it. That might have been orange belly crawl or something like that. Don't know. I got some random frogs in there. I found this one hung in a tree, and then there's that other frog. Don't know where I got it. Well, I found that hung in a tree the other day. That's a head and pop R in like neon shadow or something like that. Then I got a little head, uh, a little. No, that's a pop R. What's the name of the company that makes them? See, this is what I'm saying, guys. Sometimes I forget the company that makes stuff, but I know it's just I forget. And uh, I got another popper in there in black back silver, silver black back. Got some uh, rebel original float minnows, and I've had these for a while. You can see the fish have hit them so hard, knocked the paint off of them. Got two of them in gold black back. Got a head and torpedo, I think. Yeah, in shad, head and no, that's a head and um, it's not a torpedo, I don't think. That's a head and torpedo. Or is that a horde? See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know which one's which, but I know head makes them. Got a jitterbug right there, and then I got a skunk frog, and then some rebel, I think rebel minnows. Um, I know, I'm sure y'all guys know what all of this is. Um, I'm still fairly new to bait names. I didn't really start fit really, really, really bass fishing, like really serious until about three years ago, which I know that's really, oh, and well, it's kind of a long time, then kind of, if it ain't a long time, I'm only 15, so, I used, about three years ago, the only fishing, bass fishing baits I had was rubber worm, uh, um, Berkeley power bait, power worm with the curly tail, and a spinner bait, those are about the only two fishing baits I knew how to uh, fish with, and the, um, power worm, I would just reel it in, I wouldn't stop it or nothing, I just reel it in, so, yeah, fairly new. Three years is long enough to know the uh, colors and stuff, but yeah. Got some co more corks, jig bodies, crappy jig bodies, some jig heads, strike king, mini king spinner baits. I got a bunch of those in different colors. Some wiggle shad by, what's the name of that? Mo, Mo, Mo do bait co. Yep. I got two of those. That's like a shad color, and that's like a fire tiger. Just turned around, but yeah, fire tiger. Got some um, bucktails, whatever that is, a jig, um, storm, a storm. I believe swimming shad, a strike king beastie minnows, and then I got some random spinner baits, a bunch of them by different companies. Bunch of beetle spins, Johnson beetle spins. Uh, got a bunch of different companies of beetle spins. Got some um, Lucky Strike, Gamagatsu, colored head jig heads. Then I got some Road Runners in here and that extremely big Johnson uh, beetle spin. Don't ask me where I got it, I forgot. And now we're about to move on to the MVP MVPs of my collection. Uh, I really don't use these baits very often because they're. Either why it's A, expensive, or I just like them a lot and really don't want to lose them. So, let me get the box that they're in, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I figured I might as well go ahead and start with these right here on the wall. Oh, I got a Spro Bronze, Bronze Eye Junior Frog, and I don't know the color of this frog. It's on the back of it. Oh, the color is Amazon. Uh, I bought that for like $6 from a local bait shop. I believe I vlogged when I bought it, so... And then I got this uh, Lucky Strike, or uh, Lucky Craft, um, crankbait with square bill, square bill a skeet wreath design, um, and I think the color is orange belly, no, yeah, that's the orange belly crawl, I'm pretty sure. No, chameleon brown crawl. Why, why am I thinking everything's orange belly crawl? 
I got a bait, and it's the name of it, the uh, color of it, I mean, is Orange Belly Crow. I just can't find it. When I find it, I'll make sure to do a video on it. And then I got this Strike King um, spinner bait. I think, yeah, the Bottom Dweller, and it's an um, bluegill. Really nice spinner bait there. Haven't never opened it and used it, but just look at it. I gave like three dollars for it. Four dollars. You can't beat that deal. And it's three fourths ounce. It's a little bit of a bigger size spinner bait, bigger than I normally use. But big baits, big fish. That's the way I look at it. Even though I've had like two inch fish bite big big spinner baits. Well, not two inch fish. Y'all get y'all get what I'm saying, guys. I got this Rapala, um, rattling wrap. Um, I think this is an old bait. I didn't buy this bait. An uh, um, older gentleman gave it to me that goes to my church. And if I can open it up here with one hand, I will show y'all. It's got a little paper on the inside with it. But, you know, it don't want to open up for me. And we're approaching on, like, 16 minutes right now. So, um, it's like a crawfish color. And it's got a little paper in there. So, it's a really, I think it's an old bait. But not, like, too old. Not no really really old Rapala lure but it's kind of old so really don't try to use it that much so I won't lose it and then I got this Olympic fishing lures swim bait I won that in a giveaway from I forgot the person I won it in a giveaway from but yeah got a live target frog this is the smaller size and the f color is LT crawl Got some tungsten strike king weights, colors black. Got a live target popper in. What's the color? Hmm. I know the colors on here because I remember. So, oh yeah, again LT crawl. And then I got a Livingston lures, um, square bill. The dive master junior. And it's Chrome XXX Shad. Then I got some uh Kevin Van Dam Elite Treble Hooks. The, I won these also in the same giveaway as I won that swim bait. Then I got some Mustad Ultra Point Hooks. I paid like $4 for all these hooks. 25 of them. So that's a pretty good deal. And uh, let's get into the other box right here. And like I said, these are my MVP baits. I otherwise caught a bunch of fish on them and don't fish with them that often or they're like really expensive and I really don't want to fish with them unless I really really have to okay I got some bomber um crankbaits right there I know that color right there's fire tiger I think that's a um green tomato then I got a rapala clanking wrap um I got a strike king swim jig in bluegill got some random stuff right there uh, some j crappy uh, jigs and a Johnson Beetle R spin or something like that. It's a new product that just came out with it. And I got a little money spinner bait and fire trigger. And this big circle hook right here I found on a catfish line. Um, it, it was wrapped up on a stick laying on this edge. So I didn't pull it out the water. I really don't do that to people. That's really messed up if you pull someone's line up and steal it. So yeah. And then I got another rapper clanking wrap. I found this one the other day stuck in a tree when I was fishing. And that color is Fire Tiger. Really nice bait right there. Got a Lunker Hook Frog in. Don't know. I forgot the color. It was like brown tree frog or something. Uh, and then I got a KVD uh, Splash Popper. I forgot the color. It was like purple sexy shad I think. But yeah, that's all my hard baits. Um, this video is 20 minutes long. I'm going to really try to cut down on video times. But yeah, this is a really long video. But yes, go ahead and add in some clips of some fish I've caught. So here you go.